Hello, welcome to Geology 1. This class is going to be online asynchronous, meaning that we don't actually have meeting times. Um, but I will walk you through kind of how to get a hold of me and how to get a lot of help throughout the course. Um, so this video is supposed to help you kind of navigate the course. Um, so here I have um, student view popped up. So this is what you should see um, when you log into Canvas. Um, so there is this front page here and there's an image and then a bunch of information below it. So um, one of the things you can do is you can click on the get starting um, tab here or link and that'll take you to the first module which is technically module zero um, and then you can click on syllabus on the left and then there's all of my information here. Um, so we'll start with uh, my information before we get into the course. So if you click on my name there, it'll take you to the instructor contact page, which has a little picture of me and my family, just so that you kind of put a face to the name and you're not, I'm not this faceless online teacher for you. Um, my full name, my email, an alternate email to get a hold of me. This is technically my office location and my office phone number, um, but I won't be there most of the time, obviously. Um, or you can text me. So this is a Google phone. Um, so it goes to my regular cell phone number um, or my regular cell phone. Um, so I can text you back um, if it's something like urgent. Um, just be aware sometimes if you text me at like 11 p.m. I might be asleep. Um, I do have a five-year-old. So, um, And then I do have this Discord app set up, which is kind of like a little chatting app if you've never used it. Um, a lot of gamers use it. And you can click on this link here. And it'll take you over to um, our Discord for this class. Um, so right now it's only me in there. And there are a couple of different uh, threads that you can post to. There's a technical help, a lab help, a general um, one I call Hard Rock Cafe, which I also have a discussion post for in Canvas that I'll show you. Um, but, and then a fun geology meme one. Um, but this one <clears throat> is designed to like, uh, increase a connection between you and your um, peers. Um, I do check it, obviously, so if I see something drastic that somebody needs help with, I might chime in, um, but a lot of the time I kind of let you guys roll in it. <clears throat> that way um, you kind of have a connection with your um, fellow students. Okay, um, and then all of the office hours are listed here with the meeting ID, the password is geology, um, that way we don't get any bots or anything into our rooms, um, and I will admit you into the room once you type in the password. Um, and then a little bit about my teaching philosophy is also listed here, so if you have any questions about how I teach or how I run things, um, this kind of gives you a good framework for that. I know it's a lot to read, you don't have to read it if you don't want to, um, but just to kind of give you peace of mind, I am here for you. I am not here to try to trick you or try to make you fail geology. I want you to love geology um, the way that I do. So um, just keep that in mind as you navigate this course. Okay, so let's go back home. And you can see the welcome page again. Here we can click on getting started. So we'll do that now. Okay, and my first module I call Welcome to Jurassic Park because it's kind of funny. Um, so here it'll talk about what you are expected to do for this first module and kind of some overview of how the modules will run. So each module will have a number associated with it as well as a topic. Um, so module O is welcome to Jurassic Park. Module 1 will be scientific um, method and the solar system. So this first one lists out, so each module will have a page similar to this one that will list out everything due that week. And it will also link you to the appropriate lecture video for that topic. Okay, so here you would click on syllabus quiz if you were ready to. After you've reviewed the syllabus, um, you would submit your quiz. Um, so all of these are just kind of to get to know you. And the mini survey um, also includes things like technical help, what kind of operating system you're working with, just so that I know um, what learning environment you're going into um, this course with. And so every module is due um, on a Thursday, with the exception of a couple of them. So the final exam is due on a Tuesday. Um, and then the uh, Thanksgiving module, because Thanksgiving week is short, is due um, the day before Thanksgiving, so it will be a Wednesday. Um, but all of that is going to be under syllabus and a due dates page. So once all the modules are listed, 
it'll start showing you every single due date for every item. Right now I only have module O open. So if we go over to syllabus, it'll populate what your syllabus looks like. Um, and this is one of those simple syllabus um, extensions. So it's a little bit different to work with than say looking at a PDF. But what's nice about this is you can, if you want specific information, like I wanna know what late work looks like, I can click on it and go look at it. So late work for this class, you get a 2% deduction every day that something is late and you can't get any lower than 50% for any submitted work. So, um, unless you submitted it completely blank, um, you would then get a zero, and anything that's not submitted automatically assigns a zero. So even if it's late and you haven't done it yet, it'll say zero until you turn it in. And then once I grade it, it'll deduct whatever it needs to based on how many days it was late. Okay, so that's all automatic. Don't think that I'm just assigning zero willy-nilly. Okay. I mean, if you ever notice the due date is wrong from what I've said, please let me know. Sometimes things get lost and um, due dates get entered incorrectly, like sometimes the wrong year gets picked or something. Or um, I've had things where they're supposed to be set to midnight, but they're set to 5 p.m. for some reason. Um, so just let me know if anything like that happens. I'm totally accommodating with that. I'm not trying to um, <laughs> trick you guys at all. Okay, so we'll go back up to the welcome message. So. This is very similar to what I have um, in some of the other pages on Canvas. So um, I really am excited to teach you guys. I want you guys all to love geology just like I do. Um, and I want you all to succeed. I, I'm, like I said, I'm not here to trick you. I'm not trying to make things super difficult. I want you to learn something from me um, and hopefully take it with you in the future. So some of the things that you might need for the class um, materials would be some various household items I will assign. So like um, the first lab, you will need ice cubes and sugar and salt and things like that um, to kind of run a little experiment. But um, other than that, I'm not going to ask you to do anything extravagant as far as materials go. They will usually be something you might have in your house if you don't. Maybe a friend or your parents or something like that might have them. Um, you will need internet access, obviously, because it is an online class. And this is the textbook here. So the link is here. And you can click on, I would save it as a, uh, as a bookmark. It doesn't seem to want to open right now. Let's see. Open link in new tab. There we go. Okay. So this is your textbook. It's all online. Um, so one of the really nice things I do like about this textbook is let's say you're working on plate tectonics and you're reading through <clears throat> some of the material, it does have quizzes in there to kind of check your understanding. So before you actually take a quiz on Canvas for the course, you can check to see if you actually understand what is happening here. Um, so it goes through some key concepts, it starts talking about plate tectonics and the rise of plate tectonics, and basically, basically after each section here, and there are some videos embedded, which is nice, um, there will be like a check your understanding, did you get it? And um, you can see um, if you actually understood what was talk what it was talking about um, and see if you mastered sort of that topic within the overall topic. Um, and everything is linkable, so you can click on, if you want to skip to something over here, you can click on a specific section, which is really nice. So this textbook is really cool in addition to it being free um, for you guys. So that's kind of why I went with it. It's um, sort of a new thing going on right now for geology. We don't usually have free textbooks. <laughs> um, so, <clears throat> like I said, the instructions for this class is really simple. As long as you work hard and complete your coursework, you will do fine. Um, my goal is to get all of you passed through the course um, successfully. So, um, if you need my help at any point, please reach out. Don't, don't feel like you're bothering me at all. Okay. Um, Let's move on. Course description. I'm sure you read this when you signed up, um, but we'll talk about things like rocks and minerals, plate tectonics, earthquakes, um, weathering processes, groundwater, volcanoes, landslides, fossils, all the fun stuff. Here is my contact information again if you need it. <clears throat> and then the required text again. So here are your student learning outcomes. These are also listed under outcomes over on the left panel on Canvas. So just some objectives that you should get from the course. And here's the bread and butter that most people want to know about. So 
Um, you have class participation and activities are about 5% of your grade. So this is like the discussion boards and the padlets and things that we will do. Um, there's about six of them. So they're about 0.8% or almost 1% each. Um, quizzes are given weekly. So there are 15 quizzes. So the only day or the only weeks we don't have quizzes are um, Thanksgiving week and the weeks of your exams. Um, so those are about 0.66 of your overall grade each. Okay, and then homework, we have approximately four homework assignments throughout the um, semester. So I alternate between homework, mini projects, and uh, the padlets. So each week we'll have a quiz, a lab assignment, and then one of those other three things. Okay, um, so the homeworks are fairly simple. They would be something like you would see sort of on like a mastering thing um, that I've developed. So uh, those are about 1% each of your overall grade. Um, so making sure that you're getting those completed. Um, and then lab assignments are a big portion of your grade because that's where we really um, get deep into the material and learn a lot. Um, and normally this would be hands-on, and I'm gonna, I'm doing my best to try to get it as hands-on as we can um, virtually. Um, there isn't a whole lot of really cool things for geology just yet online, um, but we're working on, you know, I'm picking bits and pieces from different things that I've found um, and creating my own things. So you'll see kind of a mixture of using online tools and games. Um, and some videos that I've shot myself and some videos I've shot with other professors um, just to try to collaborate on making really good lab assignments that are online. Um, so there's 14 labs and they're about 2% of your overall grade each. So those are really important to complete. If there's anything that you're going to make sure you always complete, it will be your lab assignments. And then we have mini projects. So the mini projects, there are four of them. And um, they're either going to be like a puzzle or an infographic or something like that. And this helps you kind of master um, the more difficult topics. So I've picked an, um, some of the more interesting slash more difficult topics to kind of grasp. And this way, if you make your own infographic on like the theory of plate tectonics, you will actually learn a lot more than just listening to me talk. Um, so that's kind of how these are designed. Um, and then that way you don't have a big project at the end. Normally in... Um, my face-to-face -face classes, we would have a big project and presentation at the end, um, but this way we're, I'm breaking it up between modules, so you have four of them, so they're about two and a half percent of your overall grade each, instead of one big one at ten percent. And then your exams are forty percent of your grade. Um, these will be all administered online through Canvas. They will open about two days before the due date, um, and then they are due the Thursday, or in the example for Final, it's due on a um, Tuesday, not a Thursday. And so you just have a midterm and a final, okay? Um, so the midterm will be pretty loaded, and then the final is comprehensive. So it they are fairly large exams, um, but they're online. So <laughs> um, it's a little bit different, and they are 20% each, so 40 divided by 2. All right, so there's a grading sale again for you, just in a different format, how the grades are weighted. So I do round you up if you are near a borderline. So if you're at 89.45, I will round you to an A, um, just to keep uh, you updated on that. And then I do offer some extra credit here and there. Um, they will be kind of random. A lot of times the way I designed that was for when there were opportunities for somebody to go to like the fair and volunteer at the rock and mineral um, booth or there's the you know museum in Madeira that has all the fossils in it um, but right now obviously you can't do all of those things so I'm thinking of different online um, extra credits that we can have okay so attendance is important but attendance is taken based on whether you are participating in the discussion boards and the padlets so um, I don't require you to come to an office hour. I don't require you to check in um, with me live. Um, I, I know that everything is super strange right now. <laughs> and in addition to you guys, I also have a five-year-old that I have to teach kindergarten to. Um, so I, I don't expect that you're able to sit for a live lecture. 
So everything is asynchronous. You don't ever have to actually meet with me live. You can email me. You can um, at me on the Discord app. You can ask something on a discussion board. You can send me a message in Canvas. Um, there are a lot of ways to get a hold of you. You can text me on that um, phone number. There are a lot of ways to get a hold of me um, if you can't drop in for one of the office hours. That is totally okay. Um, and I do my best to answer students within a 24-hour period, just depending on what's going on. Um, obviously, it's usually longer over um, the weekend, but you won't have anything due sort of over weekends, so um, you should be okay on that. That's why I picked Thursday for you. Um, so you have the first four days of the week to kind of get things in order, and then you can take a break over the weekend, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. You don't have to worry about anything being due Monday. Um, I will drop you if you do not participate in the first module, um, because there are a lot of people that want to be in the class. I need to make sure that there's enough room for everybody. Um, makeup. Uh, technically, there is no makeup because we're not meeting, um, but it's just like the late work. If you submit something late, it is a 2% deduction from the grade. Per day, it's late. Um, there are your drop deadlines and all the important dates for the semester um, that you can reference. So by 8.30, um, I will be dropping anybody that's not participating actively in the course. And usually I email you beforehand just to check to make sure nothing's going on. You know, um, there's a lot going on these days. So um, if you ever have an issue, also just let me know. I'd rather know and not drop you um, than drop you and then not be able to add you later. All right, there's some holidays, but they don't necessarily affect us too much. I just don't have anything due on those days for you. Um, and feel free to take that whole day or days um, off for yourself. So some class norms, since we're not in class, it's a little bit different. Um, but do be considerate of your words that you submit electronically because they can be hurtful um, and they can come off with um, a lot more or a lot less empathy. Um, so just be considerate of that. Um, any use of profanity, crude language, or bullying will not be tolerated, and I will um, delete the post and or report you. So just be nice to everybody. Um, let's see. So we talked about participation and engagement. That's really important in online class. Um, if you do have um, accommodations with DSPS, please let me know ahead of time. Um, that way we can figure out what we're going to do to accommodate that. Um, I expect you to be honest academically, so no cheating, no plagiarism. Obviously, I want you guys to work together on some of the material, but when it comes to exams and quizzes, you need to be um, doing that independently so that I know that you're mastering the material. Okay, so that goes through cheating and plagiarism. And then there are some links here for support services on campus. So. Um, if you need any of these, you can click on them. I know some of them are a little bit different because we're all online, um, so you'll need to um, check with them on how some of their services are going to work. All right, and then here is our class outline or calendar. So we have when the date or when the module is due, what the module is, what deliverables there are, and then what chapters those cover in the textbook that I linked. Okay, so like I said, the first module is the welcome module. We'll go through introduction, a syllabus quiz, and a mini survey, and then we'll move on into some actual bread and butter in the next week. Okay, so you can read through this yourself, take up too much more of your time. Again, the final exam is due December 8th, so make sure you keep that in mind. Okay, so then below this, it will give you a summary of everything due. So I need to fix these two, but um, so the introduce yourself um, welcome module is here and it shows you that all three of these things are due August 13th by 11.59 p.m. So once everything is loaded in here, you'll be able to see all of the assignments that are due. Okay. And one more thing on modules before I let you go. When you click on the module, you can kind of click through it so you can kind of do it one by one so here is the welcome page or the intro play page and then you have a next button um, down here below where I am Let's see if I can find it. you can click next and it'll take you to the introduction padlet or introduce yourself padlet and so I'll have a post on here um, with my introduction and it has some um, 
uh, instructions at the top there for you. Um, and make sure that your name is on every Padlet so that I can give you a grade for it. Um, otherwise, if your name isn't on the Padlet, then I don't know who submitted it. So just make sure your name is attached. Okay, so I think that's everything. Um, just so you know a little bit about me before I sign off. Um, I was a working professional geologist for six or so years um, before I started full-time teaching last year. Um, I have been teaching part-time since about 2013. So I do have a lot of experience teaching. I have a lot of online experience um, and I'm trying to make sure that that comes through and uh, you guys learn a lot even though we're online. Um, I, like I said, I do have a five-year-old and I have a fiance. Um, we were supposed to get married on June 6th, but that was canceled, obviously. Um, so now we are eloping in Yosemite on September 12th. So around that time, I might be a little MIA, um, but I'll let you guys know. Um, yeah, so that's a little bit about me and I like to craft and I like to play with rocks, obviously. I like trying to work on some plants, <laughs> as I think a lot of people are. Um, and yeah, so I hope you guys have a good semester, and I hope this video was helpful for you getting started. All right, I'll see you guys soon.